browser-based coin mining has been making an unexpected surge over the past few months, especially since the Pirates Bay were one of the first biggest sites to kick it off. It is not a new concept really, it's been around since about 2011, but the surge in the last few months has been down to one website, CoinHive. It is not the only website, there's quite a few more that do it. It does sound a good idea in principle, so instead of having to put up with adverts, you just have to put up with your CPU running a bit faster while you're looking at one website. Great concept, however it is being abused. And the ways it is being abused is with Android applications, and there has even been a surge of WordPress based websites that have had coin mining scripts inserted into them, and I had to deal with a case like that recently when one of the WordPress websites on our subdomain of our corporate website was hacked and a coin mining script was placed into it. The attackers used JJ encode to hide the scripts on the page. But if you've ever seen JJ encode, it does stand out like a sore thumb. Yeah, that is not a typical way of writing JavaScript, so very easy to spot. And not only that, they placed it on the first line on the page. So yeah, I didn't have to go looking very far when it, it preceded the HTML tag. So yeah, it's completely the wrong way to inject a code script on a website. But hey, at least they made my job easier doing that. And some lessons have had to be learned in that the website should at least be supported. And how typical the group running the website were told about the issue with WordPress being out of date five months ago. And it led to the inevitable conclusion. So... WordPress websites have been hit. Some very high up websites in the Alexa top 100,000 list, so 220 websites that AdGuard reported, serve crypto mining to more than 500 million people. In three weeks, AdGuard estimated the sites generated a collective of $43,000 worth of revenue. And I will point out that mining crypto coins off the CPU is extremely inefficient, so that's actually quite an accomplishment but it is efficient if you're using someone else's resources. So that's why it is worth it for website owners. There is at least one good coin mining website called Orft Mine. It appears to actually be owned by CoinHive, but it explicitly requires permission before carrying out any mining on your system. So I can praise it for that, but many of these websites using some form of crypto coin mining are doing so immediately without permission, and in many cases not even informing the end user. There's even been reports of Starbucks carrying out crypto coin mining on visitors' systems by injecting a script through the Wi-Fi connection. How true that actually is, whether it is Starbucks doing that, or whether it is someone else who has placed a, another Wi-Fi router in there and is doing a man-in-the-middle attack to insert the script, I don't know. But this abuse of crypto coin mining does have inevitable consequences. In the same way that we have ad blockers, we now have coin mining blockers. We have a browser extension here called NoCoin, and I have used a website list that they provide on my own network-wide blocking solution called NoTrack. We are now finding antivirus checkers are also able to defend against these JavaScript-based coin miners. For example, Semantic here have a few different signatures. One thing we're now finding is that adverts are being abused as well, so coin miners are being placed within adverts, and it seems like Google Chrome are looking the wrong way here. What they're trying to stop here with this website redirect is with exploit kits. There's a certain one called Rig that is doing a forced page refresh to send you off to a malicious website. Great, that's going to stop that. Won't do anything about this crypto coin mining. What we now have is the inevitable abuse of crypto coin mining scripts placed in adverts is one that actually managed to be placed on YouTube, the second most popular website in the world. And apparently this script was sat there for a couple of hours and people were unable to get into the YouTube because the antivirus checker was blocking the CoinHive mining script which was placed in the advert. Nice one Google, you weren't even able to stop that. Why a script allowed in adverts? It is such an abuse. What we have is a fine example of people complaining on Twitter that the antivirus checker is blocking YouTube. No, they're blocking you from a malicious advert. <laughs> but okay, sure, see it that they're blocking YouTube. Trend Micro said the ads helped to drive more than a threefold spike in web miner detections. They said the attackers behind the ads were abusing Google's double click ad platform to display them to YouTube visitors in select countries, including Japan, France, Taiwan, Italy, and Spain. What I also note of interest there is that Trend Micro are tracking the exact uh, detections that people are getting in their antivirus checkers. The adverts also had the cheek to display the fact that your computer is infected. 
to remove viruses, download free antivirus now. Absolutely free, run, install after downloading. <laughs> yes, those are fake antivirus checkers that will infect your computer. The ads placed on YouTube are mining Monero coins and using that CoinHive site key. It is not possible to know how many coins the user has generated, Trend Micro stated. So Trend Micro stated the campaign started on about the 18th of January, and a Google representative stated the ads ran for about two hours, but it would not confirm when the abuse actually started. And this is not an isolated incident. We have an artificial intelligence system dubbed Sarah that has picked up anomalies within advertising code across both desktop and mobile environments. Further inspection showed these seemingly legitimate ads are actually in the business of mining Monero. So yeah, that's the story of the abuse of crypto coin mining within the website. And thanks to Bad's TM for pointing out the story of YouTube serving up these crypto coin mining adverts. Now, see you all later.